Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. We are looking at a... Um, look, starting to look at some of the mods that are starting to trickle out for X4 Foundation now. So, the first mod I'm going to show you is something called Crystal Finder. Now, if you'd seen my previous video, you'll see that crystal collecting crystals is a pretty decent way of uh, making a quick bit of starting cash. And there's an, easy, there's an even easier way of finding the crystals now. So... I've added this mod called Crystal Finder. This is by um, someone called Sharuna over on uh, Nexus Mods. So you basically, you download this mod, uh, you extract it to a folder, you extract it to your um, program files. Let me see what, let me get this right. For me, I'm playing the Steam version, so I extract it to program file x86, Steam apps, Steam... No, program apps, Steam, Steam apps, common, then the game name, then the extension. I'll do another video and explain how to do that if that's too complicated for you because I didn't think that sounded that complicated until I started doing it. So yeah, basically this mod makes it a lot easier to find crystals. So in fact, look at my inventory. So I've been, I've been collecting me some crystals. Uh, I've actually got in my cargo hold at the moment, I've got... Ooh, 57 of those, and I've got 23 of the other types. So that's 298,000 worth. Now, normally, if you want to find crystals, you just, like, point your direction off here and look for the sparkle. But you don't do that anymore now. Now, part of me kind of wishes the sparkle was still there, and part of me thinks, well, maybe this is a better way to do it. So, I'm in Argon Prime at the moment, which, if you've not been here before, it's next to... Hatikava Choice and Second Contact 2 Flashpoint. This is meant to be classed as... I read some people say it's a pretty it's a pretty safe place to uh, go and um, collect crystals. You don't really get any hostiles here. Pretty central towards to the, uh, the whole like, map. So I think I started off Black Hole Sun, so you need to go whoop, up here. Right, now we're going to try and find me some crystals. So you need to get to the asteroid fields. So, as always, asteroid fields are in these, like, little red sectors. This is the Argon shipyard here. So, all these red bits down here are asteroid fields. So, we are going to head inside the asteroid field. So, full speed ahead, Mr. Zulu. Okay. And we want to have a little... Actually, that's probably a terrible idea, me going in that view. Right, so, we're not looking for sparkles anymore. We're looking for colours. So, we're going to try and get near... And see if we can spot some colours on our uh, voyage. So, it makes it easier and it makes it harder. I find it makes it easier because you know what colour asteroid you encounter so that you, you know immediately which ones you might want to, you know, do or don't collect. But it does get rid of the sparkle, so it makes it a little bit harder in that aspect. So, we're currently looking for any sparkles now it might be a case of i'm not seeing anything at the moment just because there's nothing in this area so let's go over here now it is immediately obvious when you do see them so we'll keep an eye out for them it's like a little telltale glow okay here we go see this purple one here So if you notice, it's not its not actually blinking this one, but I know now there is a purple crystal on this. It's giving off this little glow. So there you go. So I can get near it. I can click on it. I can see that's a bandanite crystal uh, little section there. And then I can just, let me just navigate a little bit nearer it. There you go. Start shooting it off. Let's suck in that rogue ones. So, let's collect these. Let's just shoot this off. Come on. There you go. There you go. You collect it. The glow disappears. And on to the next one. So, it's literally just looking for it. Now, I don't believe... Let's, let's, let's see if the glow still appears. I don't think the blink still appears. Are we, are we still seeing it? See, I'm not seeing the blink. So we're going to have to examine closer. 
So it does make it easy to find them, as in you can just see the colours, but it does make it a little bit harder to actually find them because you're not, like, identifying them straight away like you did previously. But part of me kind of likes that because if you looked at my previous video, you said I, I made, like, 600 grand in literally 10 minutes. It was just so easy. Uh, but at least with this now, you do have to do a little bit of exploring. And as you can see, I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a bit of asteroid field now, and there's gonna be no bits. So sometimes I like to just stick the uh, fast travel on like this, like a madman, and just boost through. See if we can spot any colours as we're uh, whizzing through. There we go, another purple myrtle. Let's uh, let's get in close and uh, suck it dry. Okay. Ooh, nice pink low. Ooh, ooh. It's almost musical. It's musical to my ears. It's cash to my ears. All right, come here. Come on. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. If you if you do click on it, you will actually see the uh, the health of it. So it makes it a little bit easier to collect. Okay. Come on. Come on. You're gonna are you gonna stay still. Okay. There you go. A little bit coming off then. Uh. Did, did we suck that bit up then? Wow, this is like the worst rock ever to pick something up off. Here we go. <sighs> now I can already see. Did I see a little blue glow on this one? Or is that... Let me have a little look. Nah, I don't think that is. So let's see whereabouts are we in the asteroid field now. We're about halfway down here now. Boom, again. Another, another set of purple. Zoom in. Let's break and hopefully not crash into it. Oh, it's a nice little structure. Oh, yeah, I can just pick that off here. Come on. I've seen a lot of purples around here. Let's suck those in. Oh, we might actually be a little... Oh, no, we're not too far. We're not too far. Let's get those again. Come on. There we go. Right, let me let me just try and find. Oh, we got a uh, we got some dodginess. We did pick up some dodginess then. What did we pick up then? We picked up the oh, uh, we picked up the unstable crystal. Yeah, I don't really like picking those up. If you get scanned, if you get scanned by the popo, then I'm never too happy about you having those. Right, I don't want to go this way. I want to go further back this way. See if we can find any good stuff. Right, so I'm not going to look for purples. I'll try and show you some different colours. Maybe we'll find a blue, maybe we'll find a white. So I can already see more purples. Here we go. Here's some good stuff. Here's a, here's a yellow. Let's navigate closer and see what it is. I can see it there. This is a mito, mitoheen crit. Oh, mitoneen crystal. I'm not too sure what this one's worth, actually. Let's, uh, let's shoot this one off and see. So if you're looking for some starting cash to start playing this game, I would recommend crystal mining as a uh, an easy thing to do at the start. There we go. Should be able to get a few off this. I think these are going to be quite expensive crystals, these ones, because not that many are coming off. There we go. Right, let's see. Show me the money. Show me the money. Let's see what we got. How much is that worth? So we go to that. So what was it? It was a Mito. Mit oh, these are 30. Whoa. These are the 30k crystals. 19 of them we got. So we've got 570,000 credits just from that little stack. So um, let's go again. So we're going deeper south here. We want to go deep, deeper this way. Okay. Now, I do like I do like the asteroid fields near. They are fun just to fly around. You see like ancient ships and stuff that have just been uh, destroyed, 
from previous battles. There's uh, mining platforms that look like they've just been blown up. It is pretty exciting seeing a lot of the stuff. Ooh, purples again. Nope, we don't want purples. I want to find something a little bit different. All right, let's, let's boost out this a little bit. I think we're uh, going back over the same bits again and again. Okay. Purple. Purples. Purples ain't what I want. All right, let's get the uh, little turbo on. Fast travel down here. Generally, you can you can normally spot the colours and hover over the uh, the brake button to come to an immediate stop if you see anything exciting. Purple, blue. There we go. I don't think blue is as good as uh, yellow, but it is pretty decent. This is the Benno dime. Oh, men menaline. Okay, let's see what this is worth. Shoot this. Let's get a little bit closer. Make sure all my shots are hitting. Get them sucked in. There you go. Just hold down the air uh, button when you're harvesting these. You don't need to keep spamming it. Nice. Right, now what's that worth? This was the Menaline. 10,000 crystals. You can already see I'm back up to a million. Now, if you look at my uh, inventory as well, uh, the properties I actually own, I've actually, with the proceeds from this, I've I've got a, a ship which is currently in a Hattic of our choice. That is just exploring the sector, unlocking it for me, so I don't have to do it. I've also got a miner. Now, my miner is currently based in Argon Prime, and let's go and have a little look at him. What's he up to? Oh, he's currently docking. So this is what you can do to make your money. So I've I've already got this. Um, this ship is basically just going around mine, mining ore for me. So And this is all the proceeds from my crystals. So he's currently docking at the refinery and he's selling ore 58 credits a piece and you should see my uh should see my money go up in a little while when he docks so we're on 569 i think he gets about 28k a pop from mining so it's it's slow and steady money and the more the more you play there, the more you, the more uh, money you're gonna earn with it though. So then you can get another another one. Anyway, that's it for now. So that's just my little uh, my little tip for you. If you do want to uh, earn some more money, get yourself this uh, extension, and then you too can be uh, whizzing around space and collecting all the stuff, and hopefully not getting stuck inside asteroids like I just have. Oops. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. This is Shirley Rocks. This is X4 Foundations, and it's the Crystal Finder mod. I'm going quick for the please get me.